Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to implement the packet tracer activity 3.3.1.4 from the course connecting things which is related to Internet of Things and this activity is about using SPC actuate with Python. So here we are going to write a program in Python to control the things that we would like to be connected in the, in the domain of Internet of Things. Okay, so the task is here. So what we need to do, we need to connect or like build this uh, small um, figure topology here. As you can see here, we have a coffee machine. We have also a countertop lamp and here we have a motion sensor. The idea is like this. So when someone enters the kitchen by passing the, uh, through this sensor, then the lamp will automatically will turn on and the coffee machine will prepare the coffee. And after that, we are going to notify the user that the coffee is, the coffee is ready now and then it's going to turn off automatically. So this is a small, uh, like the entrance to the smart home. Okay, one more time. So when we are going to enter this small um, zone by passing the, the mouse um, here over this motion sensor, then we are going to see the lamp is turning on and then the coffee machine is going to uh, like also on, to be on. Okay, so what is the objectives here to become proficient using Python to program packet tracers um, SPC uh, device. This SPC is now a small computer. You can consider that this is a Raspberry Pi here. Okay, so here we have a Pi, like in the scenario, Python is a widespread, proposed and easy to programming language that runs on several different computer platforms. With Packet Tracer 7.1, I'm using 7.3, takes advantage on, uh, of this and implements Python supported IoT devices. In this packet tracer activity, you will program the, this device here. So you will write the program. You will not have a program written like in the previous video, for example. So first of all, now let's move to the packet tracer activity. Here we have the packet tracer. Here we have the working place. And then we have here the instructions from component. Let's go to the component and then you can see we have SPC and then we have also from end devices home we go to the appliance and then we have to select a light and also a motion sensors so okay let's do this we go for home and then we select coffee machine we also need to select lamp and then we also need a motion sensor Let's try to do this. This is not. We go to component and then we go to sensors and then we select the motion sensor, which is here. And then we need to connect them according to this table, the coffee machine with D1. Let's select this cable, IoT custom cable. We collect to D1. It's important because this is the pin that we are going to program. And then we have a lamp on D2. And then we have the motion sensor on D9. Okay, so we have this small um, topology here. Okay, so now we need to write a program in this um, SPC. So let's see what is there. The SPC. Uh, mimics real-world single-board computers such as Raspberry Pi. One of the advantages of SPC is that it can be programmed with Python. Actually, MCU also can be programmed with Python, but now the task is about this one. All right, so the first question is click on the SPC, select the program tab and see is there is any code there. So of course we don't have a code here. So what is the uh, task here? The contents of the program tab are divided into two main parts, as you can see there. 
and the left pan displays the file containing the programs created by you okay so then uh, the right pan displays the content of the file currently selected so let's select all like this here now we need to click new and then we need to uh, select an empty python from here this is written there and then click create on the left side we will see this is the task here open this task here you can write your code okay using the right pan write the program to instruct the spc to turn the coffee maker and the light when motion is detected by the motion detector okay so now we need to write the program here okay so let's get started so first of all we need to import the modules so here we have gpio as you already um, saw in the previous video and then we need to import everything this is by the uh, asterisk here and also we need to import from the time import everything as well Just we need to use the time to make some delay and then let's define the function which is we are going to call it in. all right so what we need here we need to define a variable and then we start to read the sensor the values from the sensor if the value from the sensor is high then we need to turn this machine here and turn this light on okay so let's start to define the motion sensor let's call it motion sensor like this and then we say that we have to read the pin of this you remember we connected it to d9 so that's why we have to specify here number nine so digital here we have digital read okay so from pin nine all right what we are going to read from pin 9 actually we are going to check if the value is high then we are going to turn to instruct the machine and the light to to like get ready all right so we we'll start with the motion if motion sensor is high okay so what we need to do we need to actually start to here let's say give an indication to a friend prepare the coffee or make the coffee let's say like this and also we need to um, like send the signal or um, through the d1 this one here if you remember according to the table the coffee machine was connected through d1 okay so that's why we need to use the custom right and then we send to d1 the value 2 so to, to get it ready and then we need also to print for example let's say pump on And the lamp is connected to D2, so that's why we also need to use custom rights. And here we say for D2, put two there. Let's make it bigger a little bit. Okay, so we turn off, we turned on the um, the coffee machine and then we turn on the light it should be like uh, on forever no of course we need to like now delay for a while let's say we need what 5000 millisecond here let's say millisecond and then we need to notify the user or the one who entered the place that it's ready so we are going to say for example print here uh, coffee is on or thank your coffee 
or enjoy and then we need to of course turn them off so we need to also again to custom right to custom right for d1 0 and then also custom right for d2 also zero we turned off the machine and the lamp and then we uh, let's say need to also again to delay let's let's say 600 and that's it this is the whole code and then we need we already know this line if the name equals name like main we are running through this file then call the main function all right so what about if we this is for only one time what about if we would like to make this sensor working for forever so then we need to put it inside infinite loop using the while true okay so let's shift this to the right and then let's put here while true do the following so while it's true then check the motion sensor which is on 9 on pin 9 and then if it's high then make a coffee all right send a signal to D1 and then turn the lamp on send the signal to D2 and then delay for a while and then print your coffee enjoy your coffee and then turn them off and that's it and then we continue inside this loop okay now this is the code here you will be able to download it also from the description box what we also need to do let's check the program if it's working or not for testing here we have to run the program as you can see here and now let's try to check if the code is working correctly and let's check the coffee machine and the light we only need to hover over this motion uh, sensor by click by press the alt button in the keyboard and then go through there as you can see here the um, lamp is on and the coffee machine is turning on again so let's go again one more time please check them as you can see they are working again one more time off and then again on as you can see now i have no action i'm going to move over over this again they are on then off enjoy your coffee if you over here without health button from the keyboard there is nothing you all need to press the alt um, button from the keyboard you can see now one more time so it's working correctly and that's it all right this is the test uh, testing here did the coffee the coffee maker turned on yes did the light turn on also yes what changes would have to be made in the spc2 uh, if the motion detector was moved to d5 actually you only need to change this one here because now you read the motion detector is connecting to pin 9 so the question was what about if we it's connected to d5 so in this way you need only to change this one five here and then you need to change the one here to connect it to D5 as well. Okay, so that's all for this task. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.